Hello everyone, welcome to Camping with Steve. Um, I've heard just a little bit of a legend of a open use cabin up this winding remote mountain road. So I'm gonna head up to it and uh, see what I can see. Hopefully it'll be a nice place for the night. High up in the mountains, I am driving through a cloud. Gotta be really careful about logging trucks up this road. Oop, gross. So yeah. Anyways, these are not wide roads, so there are little pullouts that I have to kind of take advantage of if there's an oncoming truck. And I think they actually are hauling some logs because there's a lot of bark on the road. Clear cuts are not fun to look at, but if we want houses, it's a fact of life. And uh, on the upside, after a few years, they get reclaimed by berries. Uh, so there are berries all over the place. Blueberries, highbush cranberries. Oh, and what do we have here? It's like we've had a bear. Definitely in bear territory. So for peace of mind, I will be sleeping either in that cabin, if it exists and if it's empty, or in my car. So that is what was making those tracks in the road. Big feller buncher. It looks like they're fixing to do some cutting. I think I found where I want to live for the rest of my life. I'm not at a loss for words very often, but wow. Let's see how livable this is going to be for a night. Okay, got uh, some chopping blocks, picnic table. Acceptable view. Okay, and this cabin. by a quadding club so uh, it's all kind of a volunteer thing here by the looks of it apparently Paul has some hygiene concerns and, oh wow There's some extra beds there's a chair air mattress if somebody forgot air mattress oh and there's some more chairs here this uh, this is awesome um, wow I am blown away at this little find. And there's nobody here. This will be fine for little old me. I don't think I brought a marker, so I can't add to all these names here. But I did bring some hunker down stickers, so we'll be able to put something, something up here so people know that I was here. Anyway, back to the view. Looks like there's another campsite over on the other side. Holy. Ah. Even an outhouse. Wow. Bit of a boat launch. I'm no authority on hydrological nomenclature, but I think I can guess how it got the name Grizzly Lake. Gotta get that bear spray. Aha, 
With this in hand, I'll do a quick once around the cabin, look for any evidence of bears. I know I stress about this a little too much, but uh, lately I've been made aware of our own mortality, and um, it's better to be safe than sorry. There are little notes about leaving donations uh, for the maintenance and upkeep of this facility. I will certainly be leaving a donation because, uh, of course. <laughs> nature with the exception of one little critter and there's many of these around here so I'll be testing out the power of the thermocell insect repellent machine today um, people ask a lot I, I use this all the time it burns the same stuff as what's in those mosquito coils except it's way more concentrated I believe it's called desis alethrin is the chemical and I've been too scared to google that myself because I'm breathing it in all the time um, let me know in the comments if that's not a good thing it's not camping without internet, right? That'll get the comments going. All jokes aside, I'm using this for emergency contact in case I have to get help up here or the vehicle breaks down because there's no cell service whatsoever up here. So I'm on my own. Cheers, everybody. Shelter is accomplished. Step two it is. I do have one of those little Garmin InReach satellite communicator emergency buttons. So if there's a severe issue, like life and death situation, I push that button and the helicopters come. But this is more for like a flat tire situation or a dead battery or to keep in touch for family emergencies and stuff. So I swear I'm not on the internet. I'm actually drinking in this beautiful nature. Luckily that rain blew over. I thought we'd be having to sit in the cabin all evening and hunker down, but it's so beautiful here. It's absolutely majestic. This is postcard stuff. Um, I am so fortunate to be here right now. It's absolutely amazing. There's all these tarps and uh, pieces of plywood that I think get removed in the summer, uh, which today is the first day of summer. So I'm not gonna be the one to take them down. I'm, I'm but a guest here. So I want to leave things better than I found them, uh, but not monkey around too much with this. quick kitchen in here really this is very impressive um, there is a stove here uh, the same type I use and I did bring my own I also brought some more fuel so uh, I'm gonna start cooking some rice I'm gonna be making uh, some burritos tonight because out here in the middle of nowhere means I can eat all the beans I want please work Wow, this is actually a much better version than the one I own. Only three things to prepare for tonight's meal. Gonna cook the rice, brown some beef and put in burrito seasoning, and warm up some refried beans. Then I can make these whenever I want. And that'll be a little bit later. But I think I'm in the clear. Uh, there's club members here that have priority on this cabin. So if they were to come by, uh, I'd be sleeping in my car, which wouldn't be the end of the world. But nobody's come by yet, and it's about three hours, four hours until dark, longest day of the year. So uh, I think this is working out pretty good. Absolutely perfect. 
I was going to start a fire out here, but I'm going to save that wood for inside the cabin. That'll be nice to have the ambience and a little bit of heat tonight. Grizzly proof? No. Resistant? Probably not. It would be a great disjustice if I didn't light this thing. So, that's the plan. I brought some wood. There is some here that's kind of cut up, but I don't want to dig into their stash too much. I'm going to actually leave as much wood as I can here for the next weary travelers. And it looks like the last folks had smoked oysters. Wow, this really throws the heat. This would be so cool in the winter, but I'm guessing the roads are tricky. There's probably a lot of snow and there's no insulation. There's also little holes here and there that I'm sure there's vermin getting in. Oh, we have a moth. Oh, more the merrier. No animals so far. It's definitely cooled off outside, so I'm really glad to be in here. I got everything ready for burritos when that time comes, but I'm just relaxing. This is incredibly peaceful. This is cathartic. I can really see why people build little shacks and just go forget the world. Uh, it's so nice. Looks like a cabinet in here that has stuff that comes free with beer. We got these little koozies, uh, some old Milwaukee garbage can thing, uh, hard seltzer stuff. Um, and to add to that, I'm going to throw in some hunker down stickers just kind of for whoever comes by. I think this is take what you want. Uh, the, the place is super neat. Um, up here there's water, uh, a couple of big jugs of water. Uh, right above the fireplace. People have their empty beverage containers stuck in this corner. Um, in this province, there is a deposit that you get money back when you bring those back. So I don't know if that goes towards uh, helping fund the place, but uh, I, I'll i leave them as is. I, I do like to clean up where I can. Kitchen side of things, I got a couple of board gamies. I don't mess around with ancient wooden board games I find in old cabins. Um, there's a few odds and ends, some tools. This uh, says, oh, please keep stuff in here away from the mice and rats. Definitely a good plan. And this is uh, more dry storage. It is really cool. The amount of time it would take to drag all this stuff out here, the wood stoves, uh, I don't know how old this place is. I'm going to look around for the oldest date I can see written on here. Oh, we got guest books. Perfect. A mystery can uh, for those brave enough to try. But in an emergency situation, if you broke down out here in the winter, uh, this would be a real gem to find. Uh, you could hold up here for quite a while. Okay, this is... I have no idea what that is. If somebody is familiar with this, let me know. A little bit of English writing on here. Uh, well, I'm going to leave that be. Um, not that adventurous. Even instant coffee. I knew I heard something. I wasn't sure if it was a frog ribbiting or a grizzly bear. Uh, it was frogs. I love wraps for camping because they don't get stale too quick. They don't get squished like fresh baked bread. And they're versatile. Oh yeah. 
there we go. This is much needed and a very hearty meal. I like to grill them because it holds them together. Otherwise, it's just an absolute disaster. But This is the life, guys. I haven't played guitar in months. My whole plan was to spend the winter writing music and playing guitar. And here I am, sequestered in a cabin uh, in the middle of the night, well into the morning almost, sitting around strumming and plucking and eating burritos. Um, said it before and I'll say it again. Doesn't get any better than this. It is certainly time to hunker down. Uh, it's been a blast tonight and into this early morning. Hard to believe, but on the longest day of the year, of course, the sun rises early for some reason. Hard to believe, um, particularly early in Canada, because we're a little far north. So it's probably not even 4 a.m. yet. Um, but the birds are chirping and the sun's coming up. So this guy's. I'm going to tuck in for, I guess it's not night, whatever's left of the morning until I can't sleep anymore. Uh, cheers, everybody. I'll see you when I wake up. Hey, get out of here. Good morning. Um, chipmunk in the cabin. So uh, I'll see if I can flush him out. I'm going to figure out where I'm going for the day and what I'm doing here. Uh, really good sleep. Really good sleep. Um, just the right temperature. Nice and peaceful. Some peace of mind from bears. I know they could just push that door right down. No problem. But that's uh, just my constant phobia I'll have to deal with. And eventually, um, either lose my fear of bears or... Uh, succumb to one. Markers all dried up. I was gonna sign something better, but I got a little CWS. It's stealthy. Yeah, some logging truck went past because uh, the road is right there. That's the only downside is there is a resource road right there, but it's not really traveled. There's two vehicles I think I heard down it the whole time, so that's great. Aside from a few Hunger Down stickers, I have left some other things. A couple of these flashlights up here, because uh, there is no other source of light in here. Um, I did bring that lantern, but I don't want to leave it because it's full of naphtha and we don't want to have a fire here. So that is staying. Speaking of leaving flammable things, I am leaving two of these butane cylinders because they are approved for kind of storage. These aren't going to leak. and useful for the stove right there. Even some Ziploc little containers and uh, if I brought this I'm leaving it. I don't know if it was there or not but here it stays anyways. Uh, I'm gonna load up the car. Um, the mosquitoes are actually already coming into the cabin. Uh, there was really none last night. Maybe one or two buzzed around but uh, I'm probably not gonna linger around too long. 
but we'll load this up, check it out outside. If the mosquitoes get too bad, then uh, I'll be off. Uh, but let's get back out there. It's beautiful out there. Mosquitoes really seem to come in waves. Uh, they're good for a while and then suddenly I just get swarmed. So I'm in a little bit of a mosquito break right now. I'm loving it. Also leaving behind a bundle of this million dollar gas station firewood. But it looks good to me in here. Uh, it's been a fine accommodation for the evening. Just as I found it. The mosquitoes are on to me. Um, let's get out of here. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, please consider subscribing. Um, Last week, uh, things didn't go quite how I expected. Uh, I had a big project I was gonna do with this, but it really dumped rain for the last week. So it's been going from wildfire uh, risks to evacuation prep to flood evacuations and flood prep. So uh, it's an interesting state of affairs right now in Western Canada and uh, things seem to be leveling out. The rain has stopped, but with that rain, we have these wonderful mosquitoes now so um, that makes camping extra good um, but anyway uh, I'm just getting eaten alive here so I'm just gonna grab the last little bit and we're gonna get out of here because that's all I got left to load up okay, let's run it's like they just all swarm at once. So just they're shooting off pheromones to let them know there's a sucker here. Okay, thanks guys for watching. And one last shot at absolute majesty here before I hit the road. Cheers everybody. Thanks for watching.